welcome to class 9 biology chapter the fundamental unit of life so far you have studied about different animals and plants in your biology lessons we studied the characteristics of plants and animals we studied the grouping of plants and animals based upon their characters now we are learning something which is deeper that is the construction of plants and animals with what they are made so the topic was introduced in your 8th class the living things with what they are made up of so here in this lesson the fundamental unit of life we are going to study what is the fundamental unit of life what is its construction what are the various structures that make up the living things how they are what are the functions and what are their characteristics all these things we are going to study see this is a wall it is a single unit single entity yes we see the wall if the wall is plastered we do not know with what this wall is made the same wall without any plastering so some part of the wall it lost its plastering from there you can see that the inner things of the wall these are the bricks by this you can identify the wall is made up of bricks so a wall is made up of some bricks 100 bricks 200 bricks 500 bricks so brick is a unit which makes up the wall in the similar fashion the living things are also made up of some basic units fundamental units so this thing was observed by a person called as robert hook in the year 1665 robert hook observed the section of dead cork cells cork cells so cork is nothing but wood the dead cells dried up wood he has taken a very thin section of the wood and that section he observed under microscope there he found small little rooms like structures under the microscope he found little room like structures small rooms little room little rooms these little rooms in latin they are called as cells so he called these small rooms as cells so from there the word cells has come into the biology thereafter people started studying cells what is the importance need or necessity of studying a cell because instead of studying the various characteristics of an organism if you study one cell of that organism you can understand many things so there the cell biology gained the importance cell biology so the construction of a cell the composition of a cell various kinds of physical chemical biological biochemical biophysical reactions takes place at the cellular level the movements of molecules at the cellular level if we study all this then they will be very helpful in various fields of application the study of a cell helps the scientists to design good medicines here they cannot study the complete organism it is it may or may not be uh, useful they study the particular cells the behavior of the cells under certain circumstances so in this way we can design the medicines we can find the preventive measures for various diseases and we will come to know so many things and how to control or prevent diseases like even cancer how it is happening the reasons behind a change or a disease or a disorder or a metabolic disorder all these things can be understood by studying the cells so this is the importance of the 
studying the cell so cell is the fundamental unit of life in the first part in the first session of the lesson we explored the fact the fund the cell is the fundamental unit of life cell is the fundamental unit cells were first explored by robert hooke that is from a dead cork cell that is from that wood which belongs to plants so later the ideas developed that both plants and animals they were made up of these cells the fundamental units so an organism is composed of so many tiny units called as cells and how are these cells say for example in this wall there are so many bricks the bricks they made up the wall but are the bricks functional no they are not functional just they are physically a part of the wall they are not functional but whereas if you see a living organism either a plant or an animal they are made up of cells the fundamental units and these units are functional means there are so many activities metabolic reactions takes place in each and every cell each and every cell it does lot of things prepares new materials gets energy from the materials nutrients utilizes the energy to produce new materials removes the waste materials removes the waste gases in this way so many activities or processes going on each and every cell so if each and every cell carries out this and if each and every cell is healthy in our body then we are healthy if the functioning of a cell is disturbed then the functioning of the body is also disturbed so cell is the functional unit so we can understand that the functional unit is it is the fundamental unit it is the fundamental unit at the same time it is a functional unit as well as structural unit so a cell is a structural and functional unit of living organisms so that's what we here learned that a cell is a structural means it helps in giving a structure as well as structural and functional unit of living organisms so robert hook did that he identified with an experiment in the year 1665 long 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 ago but now you got a doubt you doubted is it true or the living organisms and their parts are made up of cells i wanted to confirm yes you can confirm it you yourself can carry out an experiment to confirm you yourself can witness the living things living organisms are made up of cells how could you do that you can do that by very simple experiment you need any plant pot a vegetable kind of thing to make a thin section for a better and easy activity you can choose onion and you can take the peel of onion and you can prepare a temporary slide by viewing this slide under a microscope you yourself can witness the living things are made of cells let us see that activity if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus